arrest 323 electoral offenders at Damo to stay within the APC. Saraki insists the Kwara's next governor must be from APC. Plus business, entertainment and sports stories. You're welcome to Roots TV Top 10 News. I am Aisha Jibrain. The Nigerian Police Force says it has arrested 323 persons across the country for alleged electoral offences during the February 23 presidential and national assembly elections. The force had earlier arrested 128 persons. The national chairman of the PDP, Uje Sekondus, has called us INEC chairman Mahmoud Yakub to prevent future consequences over the conduct of the presidential and national assembly elections ahead of the March 9th elections. He also called for the release of the sworn in law to its presidential candidate, Atika Obaka. With blames among APC chieftain Nadamwa over the loss by the party to the PDP in the presidential elections, SGF boss Mustafa says misunderstanding among APC stakeholders in the state is being resolved to ensure that the party retains the state. Former federal lawmaker Agbemi Sola Saraki has said that she would work hard to ensure that the APC produces the next governor of her home state, Kwara. She said she would ensure that the governorship candidate of the APC in the state, Abdurrahman Abdurazak, emerged the winner of Saturday's election. The Ima State Governor Richard Sokorocha has distanced President Mohamed Dubari for what he called lawlessness alleged being perpetrated in the APC by the National Chairman Adam Sushomole. APC National Working Committee had suspended Okorocha for alleged anti-party activities. INEC said that 184,678 voters will participate in Saturday's supplementary elections in Imo North Senatorial District, Okigwe North and Okigwe South Federal Constituency of the state respectively. INEC will on Saturday conduct supplementary elections in Iberapa Central, North Federal Constituency in Oyo State. According to INEC, non-compliance with the Commission's guidelines during the February 23rd poll warranted the conduct of the supplementary election. All prices rose on Monday, buoyed by output caught by OPEC and reports that the US and China are close to a deal to end the year-long tariff row. International Brent futures were at $65.25 a barrel at 0.70 GMT, up 18 cents or 0.3 percent from the last close. Actress Fuluka Daramola says since President Mohamed Dubari has been re-elected for a second term in office, the movie industry will force him to pay attention to the sector. She added that it was the reason Nollywood voted for him and joining him to create a ministry of entertainment. La Liga leader said FC Barcelona has reached a deal with Sergei Sampa to end the midfielder's contract. The 24-year-old was once considered successful for Sergio, but several injuries have proved a setback to Shropton loan spells at Granada and Las Palmas. For more news updates, follow our social media handles as displayed on your screen. And that's the Roots TV Top 10 News today. I am Aisha Jabrin.